Praise the Lord. This is Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. Thank you so much for being a part of this family. Thank you for stopping by. Please, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Click the notification bell, like, and share the video. Today, God says I should tell you, be grateful for your enemies. They are the push that your destiny needed. God says you should be grateful, be thankful for some of your enemies because they are the push that your destiny needed. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, we see a story of this wonderful family, the story of Hannah, Elkanah, and Penina. And the Bible makes us to understand that Hannah was barren. Elkanah was, loved Hannah so much. But then Penina was the second wife who came in because Hannah was barren and Penina had children and would mock Hannah. But what I came to understand was that the name Penina means pearl. It means jewel. And apparently, if you look at this story, you see Penina as the enemy. She's the main enemy in the story. And then you see Elkanah as the one who loved Hannah so much. And at some point when Hannah, when Hannah was so depressed, the Bible said when they went to Shiloh for to, to offer their annual sacrifice as, as, as they usually did, at some point Hannah was so, 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 so depressed about the whole situation. Penina was mocking her and, and, and then she, she used to, she, she was basically giving birth every year, like, what you are desperately looking for, she was having. What Hannah was desperately looking for, she, Penina was having it so cheaply. And then she would mock her at that. And the Bible says because of the mockery, Hannah could not eat. She lost her appetite. And Elkanah was trying to comfort Hannah and told, say, am I not worth more than 10 sons to you? Thank God that the, the, that, that the, 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 the anger that Penina caused Hannah was greater than the love that, that Elkanah expressed. Because Hannah got up and was pushed to go to the place of prayer where she emptied herself and got into a covenant with God. If Hannah had been left to only feel the comfort or console herself with the comfort, I believe for the past years Hannah had been consoling herself with the comfort of the husband's love. But it got to a point that she refused to be comforted. Sometimes in life, you've got to look at Elkanah in the eyes, whoever that Elkanah represents to you, and tell them that if I was, if you were worth more than ten sons to me, then you should you shouldn't have gotten another wife as well. I should have been worth more than ten sons to you as well. So you have you have had your children with the other woman, and now you want me to be comfortable in this situation where I'm supposed to step out of. of because beyond barrenness is my purpose. Beyond barrenness is 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 a prophet to to Israel that is supposed to come through my womb. I am supposed to get out of this comfort zone, and I'm supposed to go forth and bring forth the prophet. I'm supposed to go forth and bring forth the first prophet who will who words will never fall to the ground. Who I need is not the Elkanah that loves me and comforts me and pampers me and keeps me in the comfort zone. No, I need a Penina. I need ha 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 ha. Penina's mandate or Penis, Penina's own purpose was just to shine forth her own glory and to provoke and to provoke Hannah, so that Hannah too, in turn, in return, can bring forth her own glory. So Penina was simply doing her role. She was simply performing her own purpose. Her purpose in Hannah's life was to push the best out of Hannah to come out. Sometimes the things we consider to be the, to, to be the reason why we are in depression, to be the cause of our problems, sometimes who we consider to be the enemy is the reason why we accomplish purpose. Sometimes we've got to thank God for the enemy. Oh, it's crazy, but sometimes you've got to even thank God for the devil. Because if not for the devil, maybe you won't have been the prayer warrior that you are today. If not for the enemy, maybe you won't have grown to maturity as a Christian today. Maybe you won't have stepped out to, to say, poverty, you will leave my family, I've had enough of you. You won't have stepped out to have that wonderful idea that you have today. It would not have been a product of your comfort zone. So most often those who help you 
are not those who love you and keep you in the comfort zone and make you comfortable in that mess or in that bad situation, but those who provoke you and mock you and push you to work harder are the ones you should be grateful for. I hope this message blessed you. Shalom.